Many organizations model software delivery as if the features that are initially planned for a release are always the features that are actually delivered to production when the release is done. But the reality of software releases is more complicated than that because it's hard to predict the delivery of planned features. One reason predicting delivery is hard is that development teams don't deliver every code change to QA at the same time. Delivery to QA is staggered as the team finishes features and prepares them for testing. The QA team starts to test these features as they're delivered, but then two things happen. One is that the development team continues to deliver other features, which pile up in QA's queue, waiting for testing. The other is that QA starts finding bugs in the features that have already been delivered, which kicks off an iterative cycle of code changes and retesting. This staggered delivery of features affects test availability windows, testing plans, regression testing strategies, but most importantly, it impacts project timelines. The calendar doesn't move, so delays in the iterative development QA cycle have a domino effect on projects that have a fixed planned delivery date. Predicting the delivery of features is also hard when work that was not originally planned is inserted into the release. This work includes hotfixes, patches, urgent fixes for features that were deployed in the last release, anything that impacts what the release will actually contain and, potentially, the timeline for delivering it to production. When you can't track the events that prevent teams from delivering what they originally planned, features drop out without stakeholders knowing it, features are partially delivered, and schedules slip all of which can cause failed deployments, cost overruns, and disappointed customers. The Zevia Labs DevOps platform helps you deal with the reality of software releases. Let's look at an example of the way that Zevia Labs enables you to track the delivery of software from code to production, even when a release doesn't go according to plan. I'm going to use two release templates that will give me a high-level view of the overall release process and granular visibility on each feature as it progresses through development and testing. One template models the overall software delivery process. I'll call that the master template. The other template will track the team's work on each individual feature. I'll call that the sub-release template. The master template starts with a planning phase. During this phase, the team will plan the features that they'll work on during the upcoming sprint. Next up is the development and QA phase. During this phase, the team's progress on each feature will be tracked in sub-releases that run iteratively. We'll take a closer look at that process in a moment. The third phase is integration, where features will be tested together for the first time. Finally, during the production phase, the software will be deployed to a production environment, and smoke tests will verify the deployment. The sub-release template has two phases. During the development phase, the team develops and builds the feature. During the QA phase, a temporary QA environment is provisioned, and the new code is automatically deployed there. The QA team tests the feature and completes this gate task when testing is done. Let's see these templates in action. I'm going to use the master template to start a release that will track the software delivery process for a sprint. The master release and all of its sub-releases are tagged, so I can easily filter overviews and reports to see all releases that are related to each other. At the beginning of the sprint, the team agrees on the features that they'll pick up during the sprint. The product owner fills them in, and Zevia Labs automatically creates a sub-release for each feature. While these sub-releases run, the master release will wait for development and QA to complete. Each sub-release tracks the time that the development team spends working on the feature. Tracking this time in Zevia Labs helps preserve the chain of custody of each feature as its code is committed, built, and tested. When development is done, a developer completes this task. Here, I can see that the Jenkins job to build the artifact has failed. I'm going to retry building the artifact. After the build succeeds, development is complete, and the release moves on to the QA phase. Zebia Labs automatically provisioned a QA environment and deployed the application to it. 
but unfortunately, automated testing failed. This triggered Zebia Labs to create a JIRA ticket and automatically restart the process at the development phase. The development team will pick up the JIRA ticket, resolve the issue that caused testing to fail, and the process will continue on to the QA phase again. The team will continue this two-phase cycle until the feature is ready to be released. After the sub-releases are complete, the master release proceeds to the integration phase. Zebia Labs deploys the application to the integration environment where features are tested together for the first time. At this point, the team is notified that two additional features need to be added to the release. I'll account for that by restarting the development and QA phase. I'll select the location where I want to start and choose to resume later. Here's the new phase, Development and QA 2. I need to change this phase so that it starts sub-releases for the two new features. Now I'm ready to resume the master release. It creates the sub-releases and they start running in the background. While the master release and sub-releases are running, I can filter the release overview by tag, so developers, testers, product owners, and anyone else who is involved in the process can see the status of all active sprints at a glance and address any failures. After some time, feature development is complete. Now the master release moves on to the Integration 2 phase and deploys the application to the integration environment, including all six features. After integration testing is complete, I'm ready to approve the release for production. After deployment to production is done, a quick smoke test confirms that it succeeded. Finally, Zebia Labs notifies stakeholders that the sprint is complete. I've created a custom report dashboard that is pre-filtered for the releases that I'm interested in. The dashboard makes it easy for the team to analyze data about past sprints, such as the proportion of time spent on manual versus automated tasks. And the value stream report allows the team to drill down into specific sprints so they can see where unplanned work was added and identify bottlenecks in the process. This isn't just an exercise in tracking work. In addition to giving you full visibility into what's happening during a release, Zebia Labs shows you all of this information after the release is complete so you can track the events that prevent teams from delivering what they originally planned. The Zebia Labs DevOps platform can help you deal with the reality of software releases. Visit zebialabs.com to sign up for your free trial today.